Educated guys that don't have the swagger are corny. Do you ever yes. say that with your friends? Oh, he's so corny. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. I, don't, I mean, I want, men right. want what they want. We want what we want. It's not like I'm asking for him to be something ir in, re unrealistic. So it's, I think it's pretty. I, I have to agree with what was your name? Jason. Jason. I mean, everybody. It's, I'm not hating you for your preference. That's that's mm. up to you. Everybody likes what they like. I like what I like. But your package is so crazy. That unrealistic. unrealistic. It, I, it's so unrealistic. crazy. It's so unrealistic. There's no and such it, thing as perfection. And Sorry, it's Jack. almost wrapped up in a rap video. <laughs> Finesse, what do you have to say, Finesse? I want to go ahead and put it out there, and I'm not trying to, you know, get anybody riled up, but there are so many black women <clears throat> who feel like, you know, because I have this, my man has to have this or more. But there are so many black men who are saying, look, if I have this, I don't care if my woman has this, as long as she don't mess up no, this. That's because I, as no, long that's as she because don't mess me up, then I'm fine. No, that's because but you don't I want find, You don't find a lot of sisters who's willing to flip it and do the same thing, because if they do, double, they say, that's they say I'm taking care that's of a, a man, stereotype. and I don't want to take care of a man. That's a stereotype. Or I'm men want to run and the I don't want to settle, because when I first But don't white girls do that, too? Don't white girls want somebody that has more? White girls want somebody that have more, but also white girls want somebody that's simple. Tyra, I think and that's why a lot of you like if you listen to if you listen if you listen to a black man and what he says about white women, he'll say the same thing. No stress. He'll say the same thing. She don't she don't give me no hassle. And then black women will say the same thing. Oh, you want somebody you can take advantage of. You want somebody that you can just do whatever you want to do. So do you think we do this too much as black women? Oh, all day. Yeah, and but not I everybody. You, I didn't say that. We have to take a break right now. So you have to be quiet, okay, Finesse? I've been listening to you about the whole entire show. See? And it's time to take a break. All right, all right. Is that the issue? <laughs> women say a good black man cannot be found and today we're finding out if that statement is true so with me now are five men who say they are the upper echelon of good black men they're the best of the best this is demond angelo finesse who you met earlier shannon and harold and we've heard black women complain that a good black man is hard to find the women say even when they find them the men know that they are hot commodities that you guys know that you you top ones and that you guys come off as smug and arrogant so finesse do you think I mean, you know well you're sitting up there so you know you're a hot commodity <laughs> um so um so tell me about your resume let's go down it you're a comedian i'm a comedian i'm an author i'm an actor uh, SNL, Saturday Night Live, uh, but it, it was from a very humble beginning. Mm -hmm. And if if I'm arrogant, it's because I'm just confident, and I think there's a a, bi a big difference. You know, when you you've done something and you worked hard to yes. get something, you know, you just want somebody to you know appreciate that or respect that, just like you know you would like to respect and appreciate somebody who's worked hard. Like if I had a chance to date you, you worked hard, so I just could just downplay everything you've done. Are you done. trying to hint at something? <laughs> A hint. All right, Harold, let's go down your resume. You're a commodity because where'd you graduate? Um, I went to Morehouse College. Morehouse, um, and then? I went to Yale Law School. Uh, <laughs> and you have a Harvard MBA as well? I'm in business school now. Okay, you're in business school at Harvard. All right, yeah, that is a lot. <laughs> okay, so tell me um, when, when women are excited to meet you because of, of your background. Tell me about that. Um, well, I think, uh, I think in our community, we should get excited about people who are doing well. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and not, not excited for superficial reasons. Got it. Um, I think what makes a good black man is someone who has, who has attributes that can support a strong black woman. Mm -hmm. um, what about you, Shannon? Shannon, tell us about um, your background, your schooling. Uh, graduated from Stanford undergrad and, and I'm currently in medical school. So. Okay. Uh, All right. um, but you tend to hide back your resume. Tell me why you hide that. Hide that when you're well, dating. Um, right. Sometimes I, I uh, meet a woman and don't tell her that I'm in medical school first. You know, I just want would like to to get her her kind of honest uh, or candid reaction, you know. Because then she'll that. be like, woo, child. <laughs> Sometimes, Stanford. Right. Okay, Sometimes. now, Angelo, um, you say that women are responsible for making these men feel like they're hot commodities and kind of the smug arrogance. So tell me about that. <laughs> let's, go, let's go down your resume. All right, let's go down my resume. <laughs> Songwriter for Universal Polygram. I'm working with uh, Slash Promoter, working with artists like Lil Wayne, Kanye West, Keisha Cole. I tend not to tell 
women what I do because I want to get to know them first, you know, because if I tell them what I do, then it's a whole other thing. Great example, um, women that I used to try to talk to in my neighborhood would never give me the time of day. Now they come and catch me on BET and say, oh, they're calling my mother left and right. How can I get in touch with them? Can I go to the store for you, get something to eat? <laughs> they're trying to do anything they can to, you know, find out what I'm doing and my whereabouts. And I believe that they share some of the blame of us uh, Feeling like calling you're ourselves a commodity. a commodity. Right. Okay. Um, so, Demond, you um, are a black man. You're at NYU. You're getting your education. But you have a frustration. What is your frustration? Oh, so my frustration. First, I'm not going to get discouraged. I don't get discouraged easily. But... Um, I'm a little late bloomer, so I'm just going back to school now. Um, women find out that I'm an actor and I work with young people. They are, they kind of, uh, the conversation, they kind of lose, you see in the eyes glaze over a little bit and they just kind of lose a little interest. Like, oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Like, that's because nice. Because you're getting and the education? And then the eyes look somewhere else, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. You find that with black women or all women? Well, primarily right now, it's, that's who I'm, black women, but, this, my, I am not going to get discouraged. Like, that's not saying, like, I'm looking around. That's Any only a few men black women, to not everybody. Over there? Anybody? Yes? Yes? Okay, raise your hands high. Who's feeling them? Who's feeling them? Higher, higher, higher. Okay, then you come on over here because they, their eyes are not glazed over. Come on. Oh, I can come over there? Yeah. Okay. Over there. We'll be right back. That they are good black men, the upper echelon of black men, educated, fine, handsome, doing their thing. And they are going to reveal for us where we can meet good guys, good black men like them, other than on the Tyra Show, of course. 